Upgrading from 4 gigabytes to 8 gigabytes good? Why am I not getting a big increase when I upgrade to 16 gigabytes from 8 gigabytes? Should I buy less RAM to save money or buy a higher size of RAM? If you are a person who has these question, then you this is your video. Suplo and gamers, Akshay here. Today I am explaining you how RAM works for gaming and solve the questions early on the video. Before we learn about RAM, we need to learn what is RAM. RAM or random access memory is a part of your PC which is required for your CPU. It's basically very fast storage but you can't use it like a hard drive, just a one-time load. And for gaming, let me use photos to have a better understanding. Suppose you have 4 gigabytes of RAM. The process is that the game inside your hard drive will give load to RAM or resources. Then the RAM will give it to the CPU as it's faster than hard drive. But due to only having 4 gigabits of RAM, it slows down and the CPU won't able to render the files fast enough. That's why you can see textures not fully loaded while you're in-game. It's the same on apps too. For example, Chrome. The more tabs you have open, the more RAM is used, and lower the RAM, the slower it loads. Now I will explain why upgrading to 8GB of RAM is way better. The reason is, when the CPU is paired with 4GB, it struggles but when paired with 8GB, it actually makes the CPU load more content. Just having double the size, it can really give you a very fast experience and can give a big boost in FPS while gaming. So, if you're going to upgrade to 8GB even it's DDR3, it really give a huge buff in, I think, every situation. Gamers going from 4GB to 8GB for the first time will be as satisfied as buying it, and in one of them, with DDR3 and i7 4th gen, while being 9 years old, 2014, and still running like a champ. All while still being satisfied to this day. So just go for it. It's completely worth your money. Now, if you're upgrading from 8 gigabytes to 16 gigabytes, and see no difference. Don't worry, it really helped you but in a different way. In 8 gigabytes, it increased your average FPS but in 16 gigabytes, it increased your 1% and 0.1% low which is minimum FPS. Before you say, I don't want minimum FPS, it really helps, by how you may ask, by the higher minimum FPS you have. The less lag, stutters, lag spikes you will face, resulting a very smooth gameplay experience. 16 gigabytes also enables you to multitask. For example, you can play games and run Chrome in the background playing a YouTube video. So, don't be sad that you wasted your money. It helps you a ton and can get you a smooth system experience while doing multiple work at once. Before we get to the next question, I need to explain what's RAM generation, megahertz and RAM channels. RAM generations. There are six generations of RAM at this time which are, SD RAM, DDR, DDR2, DDR3, DDR4 and DDR5, but only DDR3, 4 and 5 are used for gaming. DDR3 plays old games and are rare to find, DDR4 plays modern games and are very common to find and DDR5 plays the newest and high graphics games and are easy to find but it is very expensive. Fastest is the DDR5 but DDR4 is reliable and DDR3 is the slowest. But the DDR3 isn't as slow, you can still use DDR3 for gaming as DDR3 and 4 and gaming is almost the same. If your PC has DDR3, don't worry just need to keep it in great shape and have a minimum of 16 gigabytes of DDR3 or minimum of 8 gigabytes of DDR3. Now let's go to the megahertz. Megahertz is the speed in which the RAM can transfer data from the hard drive to the CPU. Higher megahertz, the more average FPS you get. But this won't really give a huge difference in gaming. Suppose, you upgrade your RAM from 8 gigabytes 2400 megahertz to 8 gigabytes 2666 megahertz. This isn't a big difference in performance and it's quite small. But if you upgraded from 8 gigabytes 2400 megahertz to 8 gigabytes 3200 megahertz, that will give ATL East a 3 to 5 percent increase in your average FPS. This might not be a huge amount, but it's better to get a little increase in just extra money. For the most part, you don't need to worry about megahertz. Just focus on the size and generation the RAM is. Now the RAM channels. If your PC has two or more RAM slots and you're only using one out of them then you're really losing a serious amount of FPS in your PC. Having two 8GB RAM is way better than having one 16GB RAM. What it does is instead of using one slot slash channel for transferring data, it is slower. While when we use two slots slash channel, the speed of transferring data is increased hence it's way faster. If you want 16GB and have two slots, use 8GBX2 as it rounds up as 16GB and have dual channel which is faster. But if you have four slots, don't use 4GBX4 as if you want to upgrade it in the future but it's your choice. As I said, the more channels, the smoother and more FPS you get. But it's perfect if you want 64GB RAM as you can add 16GBX4 and 128GB RAM as 32GBX4. 
Now the last question, how much RAM do I need? As of 2023, you need a min of 16 GB of DDR4, 2400 MHz and dual channel. For the recommend specs for almost all games. Well this comes to an end of this video. I hope you learned something from this video. And I will catch you next time, and watch this video for a free FPS boost before the video ends.